Build of attainder is a very simple concept to understand. Most people, most of us anyway, know about it better than we might think, despite the very tricky definition they place on it. Constitution, under the definition of treason, it states that treason against the United States shall consist only in loving war against them or in adhering to their enemies made in comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless on the testimony of two witnesses they move or act or on confession in court. The Congress shall have the power to declare the punishment of treason, but no attainder of treason shall work corruption of blood or forfeiture except during the life of the person pain. So this document, of course, has been revised, but there it mentions attainder of treason, but it does not really specify what exactly that is. So it's uh, generally referred to as a bill of attainder. Now, of course, there are many bill bills that we deal with on a daily basis. Of course, the most common of those is the U.S. dollar bill, right? It's a bill, but many other types of bills, such as a bill you would get in the mail from an insurance company or some or a hospital, per se, that would be still a bill, right? According to Wikipedia, the national debt of the United States is the total national debt owed by the federal government of the United States to Treasury, Treasury security holders. National debt at any point in time is the face value of the outstanding Treasury securities that have been issued by the Treasury and other federal agencies. It's very tricky what they're doing here and what they're attempting to avoid saying they are in fact saying. So let's read the rest of this. The terms national deficit and national surplus usually refer to the federal government budget balance for the year, not the cumulative amount of debt. In a deficit year, the national debt increases as the government needs to borrow funds to finance the deficit. While in a surplus year, the debt increases as more money is received than is spent, enabling the government to reduce the debt by buying back some treasury securities. In general, government debt increases as a result of government spending and the decrease is from tax or other recipients, both of which fluctuate during the course of a fiscal year. There are two components of gross national debt. Debt held by the public, such as treasury securities held by investors outside the federal government, including those held by individuals, corporations, the Federal Reserve, and foreign state and local governments. So basically what they're doing here, if we're going to decode this, we should understand the basic concept that the national debt applies to the nation, being the people. Right? <clears throat> that is, in context to uh, debt that is based off of the land, of which we have both. Most people will refer to the national debt, but there is in fact land debt as well. Now this debt is leveraged upon us and the investors, many of which are foreign, are being paid back by the people of the nation, not the juridic entity that is administering or managing them. Of course, the people in this context are considered livestock and cattle who have a bill of attainder placed on their lot. We're going to go ahead and look at exactly how this debt was imposed. And this we will find in the United States stamp duties containing all the acts of Congress and decisions of Commissioner of Internal Revenue relating thereto, carefully compared and corrected by official copies of the same San Francisco. Under Section 5, it states, and be it further enacted that all contracts, loans, or sales of gold and silver coin and bullion not made in accordance with the fact shall be wholly and absolutely void. In addition to the penalties provided in the act to which this is an amendment, any party to said contract may at any time within one year from the date of the contract bring suit before any court of competent jurisdiction to recover back for his own use and benefit the money paid on any contract not made in accordance with the fact. So, they put back into full force all the many debts that were levied fraudulently otherwise in the past. They voided the payments for those debts. Thus, they placed a lien. Their judgment here, they placed a lien on the uh, credit history, or rather, more accurately, the lives of all the people all that all can't contract holders, right? So, this comes into the basic concept that many are aware of, is that when you default on a loan, a judge comes along, a 
spanking judge, right? And places a judgment, which is then pressed as a lien against your credit history. You cannot buy things like property when you have a lien on your credit history because no institution will uh, fund it or administrate the purchase, essentially. The only way that you could buy a property, which you can't, would be to uh, do a private sale, and then, of course, if you did that, they would just take the property away through force. So this is done, essentially, on everyone by the fraudulent government, which is a vehicle of foreign interests, in order to leverage back upon the United States nation, the people of that nation, very old debts that have been paid over and over, and over again. And they are going to take your earnings, just like when you have a judgment placed on your credit, a portion of your earnings are then take, taken and, and given to whoever the loan holder is that you default, defaulted on. And that is done through your employer. But if you have your own business, then all of your business transactions, the institution that does it will take that automatically from your gains, right? They always do it automatically. They always have control over every vehicle to assume or subsume or take away a certain percentage of your profits to pay back that debt that we were made to have been defaulted on because they avoided all of the payments for it. This comes into the concept of the bill of attainder, a bill being signed to attain what that person has, their property, their life, travel, and their future revenues. This scenario is that they give you something, according to them anyway, and then they take back what they have given with a percentage, right? But in this scheme, they simply take because they didn't give anything. And what they gave, of course, what they alleged, alleged to have given, they stole from somebody else. And then they can do a whole other mess where they, they'll state that because they stole from someone else, you have to pay back that debt of that theft. And thus you have a give and take where they give a, it's a bogus deal, right? Like the deal with the devil. And then they take everything, essentially. Now, when it comes to this bill of attainder, generally speaking, there will be an invoice or a bill sent in the mail to the individual telling them or demanding that they pay this debt, right? Just like with the hospital. That is, in fact, a bill of attainder, a bill to attain what that person has or what you're claiming that they are supposed to give up. The payment fees for a driver's license, for instance, that all goes into that idea of how they attain your privilege or your right to travel and they require you to pay for that right so that, that money will then go funnel back to pay the fraudulent debt that was reimposed. The visa system and having to pay for visas and then having them to be, have the ability to unilaterally deny your ability to travel is the same thing that has to do with the bill of attainder. When a bill of attainder is pressed against somebody, they're not allowed to leave until they paid off that debt. And often when you do leave the country and you have debts, the first thing that many people ask, especially when they're working in banks, is that whether or not you left that country to escape the debt. And so the control on travel that we have, where we have to pay for the right to travel and they can um, uh, reject it at any point, that all has to do with the bill of attainder on our lives and our freedom of travel based off of the fraudulent debt that was imposed. In this manner, they control the entire world through fraudulent giving, which then leads to exorbitant takeaways. And they essentially have attained the globe by attaining everything on it and everyone on it. And of course, we know who they are. They are everywhere. Their minions, anyway, are every everywhere, uh, running around and delivering bills and taking people's stuff through various coercive and fraudulent methods, all for the sake 
of enforcing this bill of attainder based off of the lien that was leveraged upon the nation by um, all of these pretend government actors that are all doing it on behalf of a foreign debt that was reimposed fraudulently. So if you were going to write up a bill of attainder, all you would do is you would figure out the person who needs to be attained, and then you would deliver bills and notices of payment or demand payment demands up to whoever controls their property telling them that they have to forfeit over whatever property that is to pay for the debt that you are attaining that person individual for. And it, many there's many ways that you could do such a thing. These, it's very important to notice that these payments are going to be, well, these bills of payment will, will most likely be ignored, but they will be sent to the property owners that administrate the property of the person being detained, such as their bank or their insurance provider or whoever else it might be, whoever might hold their real estate property, whatever business, security entity, whatever filing, those are the people, not the individual. You don't send the notice to the individual. You pay for it to anyone surrounding them who has property interest. And these, these notices, if they go, well, these demands, really, but if they go unheeded, then you would attain the individual or corporate corporation, whatever entity it is, that is ignoring the legitimate and lawful bill of attainder. Now, today, in order to get married, we all have to pay for something called a marriage license. This marriage license, again, goes to the same entities enforcing this bill of attainder upon the nation where that money that they're charging for the marriage license is an attainment on your freedom to marry, but taking away your freedom to marry until that debt is fulfilled, right? Same concept. So in this context, they have attained your freedom of travel. They have attained your freedom of marriage. They have attained your freedom of purchase of basically everything else. And they would say it's lawful so that you can't do anything in life until you have repaid or paid off, repaid off this debt that was uh, re, re leveraged and is continuing to be leveraged and continuing to be expanded and will never be paid off. In this way, they can keep you in a certain place, essentially cattle, constantly reaping the rewards or a percentage of the rewards of everything that you do, in the same way that an employer would pay off a loan service provider because of a judgment that was placed off your credit history that you don't take home everything that you make until you've paid off that debt. In this scenario, everyone will grow old. And even though it states that you can't work corruption of blood and that it's not supposed to go beyond the life of the person being attained, well, it doesn't make a difference if you attain every single life. And every person individually is given, as it states, a certain percentage of that national debt that continues to increase. And all of their, or percentage of all of their hard work and revenue goes to that, which of course goes into people who have the alleged loan, loan holders, which I guarantee are in Europe, and are probably the Vatican and the United Nations, and mainly, of course, and uh, many other foreign interests. In fact, even your apparent personal property, such as your appearance, or any copyrighted works you sell, or absolutely anything at all, is all considered their property, as part of the bill of attainder on everything that you will ever create that all should be according to them taken and sold in order to pay back that loan that they imposed on you the main thing to comprehend from this video is the basic concept of what a bill of attainder is how it leads, uh, correlates to a lien and a judgment on credit specifically not credit history but credit and debt and that these things can be done right back to them because what they've done is they've stolen from everyone under fraudulent pretense and the people who have stolen from everyone under fraudulent pretense are the main level minions that process so-called income tax in your city departments or even up to the people the lawyers that are behind all of these insurance schemes that all of them in 
involved in that organization have leveraged a fraudulent debt upon the people and taken away so much that they have in fact created a debt and when that debt is pressed by the loan holders we the people then a bill of attainder is placed on that individual's life no matter how low level or high level they are because if they're involved in that organization and they have in some way uh, made efforts to emplace a fraudulent debt upon the people thus making themselves indebted to the people this bill of attainder can easily be written up by a court of the people a single individual could do it as well but that would be a large undertaking however a court or a gathering of the people could easily write up bills of attainder and send them out under the directive of that court not under any individual at all and that makes it a little bit more impactful because if the court does it then that stipulates that if you don't follow what they say then that court will impose an enforcement method to make the individual who administers that person's property hand it over and that of course gets into the main conundrum and difficulty of the day is that we need an enforcement mechanism to in fact obligate through force possibly of arms the return and restitution of the property of the people that has been taken and that bill of attainder that would be made by that court would be delivered to those individuals that control the property of those other individuals stipulating to them that you're going to give back to the people not give back but you're going to give up to the people everything up including even your life for the debt that you have imposed on the people if you are one of those individuals in that organization the people of the nation have given away under theft and fraud a large portion of our resources our revenue our hard work and everything else and many of those people are now dead and will never seek restitution but it is time for that to be given back and given back with a percentage and the same thing done to those people who imposed this on us done to them personally as individuals where they themselves are obligated to pay the debts of the people because they stole and they created a deficit this is the concept of restitution however it should be done i say, i would argue in the same way that it has been done to us where not only do they have to pay back everything they've stolen, which in many cases is impossible, but they have to pay back with a percentage and basically everything that they own or will own or will ever make is forfeited to the people in order to pay back that debt that they leveraged upon the people. An example of some of the individuals that need to have their lives and their revenue and everything that they will ever own, make, or do attained and in fact up even to their freedom of movement can be found in the Hawking County single audit for the year ended December 31st 2021 in this document it states the county has pledged future sewer customer revenues that have specified operating expenses to repay 2,207,600 uh, and 111,400 original issue amounts of 333,227,000 in super revenue bonds issued in 1996 and 1991 respectively proceeds from the bronze providing financing for the construction of the rock bridge and haydenville waste treatment wastewater treatment facilities the bonds are payable solely from sewer customer net revenues and are payable through 2037 annual principal and interest payments on bonds are generally expected to require approximately 46 percent of net revenues total principal interest remaining to be paid on the bonds is 445 1992 principal and interest paid for the current year in total customer net revenues were 33,435 and 165,432 respectively now of course this sounds a lot like that national debt scheme that we read earlier but this is a local level doing it each individual in the so-called county is liable to be attained for this fraudulent debt that they imposed on the people of the area promising so-called future customer sewer customer net revenues when they did that they created a debt on of theft 
that they took from the people. And so they must not only pay that back, they must pay that back with the same interest that they imposed on the loan where they used as essentially collateral the revenues of the people in the vicinity. They can't do that. That's fraud. That's theft. And they have created this specific number of debt with the local people in the populace in the community. And so local groups should get together and start enforcing, once we, of course, have an enforcement mechanism, uh, bills of attainder on the lives of those that work in the county. They're the ones who must be attained and forced to pay restitution for these loans that they took out, creating debt on the people. This is the only way to restore uh, justice, basically. In this way, the flow of resources and gains and anything of value that has been going out of the country into foreign hands and foreign nations will, in fact, flow back to the domestic lands and the domestic nation. The only way to get this done, of course, is to take out the organizations and the people that are perpetrating these fraudulent foreign debts on us. And the only way to do that, of course, is to take away all that they have stolen and demand payment or restitution at a percentage. And if they do not give it up, then it will go and be taken from them by force. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, join my new Reform Discord channel. Check out my other content. There are free books available at the links. And if you don't so desire, you may support my work at any of the options available. PayPal, Cash App, 